Arena Sabalenka versus Danielle Collins is the second semi-final for the ladies Rome Masters for 2024. And both ladies have had different roads to get to the stage. Collins entered the tournament as the number 13 seed and we're going to buy in the first round. In the second round, she take on Blinkova. And after winning the first set, Blinkova rolled her ankle and was unable to continue giving Collins the win. 6-4, retirement. In the third round, she take on the number 22 seed, Garcia, who is very capable on the clay. There's no problem for Collins getting through in straights. 6-3, 6-3. In the fourth round, she take on Bagu, who had just beaten Mertens in the previous round. And again, no no problems with Collins getting through in straights. Six love, six three to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Collins would take on Azarenka, the number 24 seed, who had a very good week on the clay. After a lot of breaks in the first set, Collins would hang on to win. 6-4, 6-3 to advance to the semifinals. Sabalenka entered the tournament as the number two seed. We're going to buy in the first round. In the second round, she'd take on Volley Nets. And after dropping the first set, would fight back to win. 4-6, 6-3, 6-2. In the third round, she'd take on Yastremska, the 32nd seed. There's just no problem getting through in straights. 6-4, 6-2. In the fourth round, she'd take on Svetolina, who just destroyed Kalinskaya in the previous round. And after saving multiple match points. Sabalenka would win in a very close tie break. 4-6-6-1-7-6 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Sabalenka would take on the number 9 seed Ostapenko. It had been very impressive to get to this stage. There's no problem for Sabalenka getting through in straights. 6-2-6-4 to advance to the semifinals. These two have played five times before with Sabalenka winning all five matches, including a match a couple weeks ago in Madrid in the round of 16. It was a banger. The first set went to Collins, but eventually Sabalenka won in the end. It was a very, very fun match. If we're going to get anything like that, this semifinal should be an absolute banger. Collins are going to win this one, she needs to serve better. She hit too many double faults and she was broken way too many times against Azarenka in that quarterfinal. But now she's going to have to serve much better because Sabalenka, of course, has a massive return and she's not going to give away free points. If Sabalenka's going to win this one, she's going to have to do a better start than she did last time against Collins. She lost the first set. She's kind of lucky to get out there in three. Maybe Collins got a little tired because she had played a lot of tennis before that. But she's got to win the first set here, Sabalenka, if she is going to get through this match and get to the final and put her in the best position. Really fun matchup. Last week, it was sort of the best match before the quarterfinals. So we get a rematch now. Now in a semi. It deserves to be a semi, but I have to go with Sabalenka in this one. I think Sabalenka with a 5-0 record. It's so hard to go against her. You've never lost to someone. That's a massive advantage psychologically, but what do you reckon? Who's going to win? Who's making the final?